On June 5th, 2024, Boeing Starliner launched into space with two astronauts on board, Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore. This was supposed to be a 8-day routine mission to the International Space Station to test the Boeing's new spacecraft, the Starliner. The mission was simple, launch the spacecraft, dock it with International Space Station, test its systems and return safely to the Earth. But what no one knew was that they would be stuck in space for 9 months because Boeing spacecraft full of serious technical failures. NASA know what happened with the Columbia disaster, which took the life of Kalpana Chawla and her crew. Now, NASA don't want to gamble with the astronauts' lives. So what happened next? Why did two Boeing company whistleblowers mysteriously die? Why did CEO of Boeing resign? Why did NASA decide to bring Sunita William and Barry Wilmore back on SpaceX Dragon capsule instead of Starliner? Boeing is a company that manufactures the commercial aeroplanes, military jets and spacecrafts. One of its projects was the CST-100 Starline, a spacecraft designed to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. The Starliner is built to be a reusable spacecraft and it is capable to carry up to 7 astronauts. It is launched on the top of Atlas V rocket, one of the most reliable launch vehicle. Once Starliner reaches the Earth orbit, the Starliner uses combination of thrusters and onboard navigation systems to dock with the International Space Station. After completing its mission, it returned to Earth using parachutes and airbags for a soft landing. But after reaching the Earth orbit, multiple technical failures started surfacing on Starliner. NASA engineers discovered helium leaks in the spacecraft's propulsion systems. The five thrusters failed. The situation was crucial if the thrusters could not be fixed, the spacecraft would not be able to return safely. NASA immediately shifted its plans. Instead of planned 8-day mission, the astronauts were forced to remain on the International Space Station while NASA and Boeing engineers worked on potential fixes. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. By then, it was clear the Starliner was not safe for the return trip. Just as the world was processing the gravity of this situation, the shocking news spread around two Boeing whistleblowers who had been vocal about the, the company's safety standards mysteriously died. John Burnett, a former quality control engineer on Boeing, had raised serious concerns about safety. He was found dead under suspicious circumstances. Joshua Dane, other whistleblower who exposed Boeing's questionable manufacturing practices, also died. Davy Calhoun also announced his resignation, effective by year end of 2024, while official reports suggested their deaths were unrelated. But many began to question whether there was something deeper at play. Was Boeing hiding something? On October 29, 2018, a Boeing 737 MAX take off from Indonesia. Just 10 minutes into the flight, the aircraft sensors started malfunction, triggering a system called MCAS. Instead of stabilizing the plane, MCAS system repeatedly started pushing aircraft nose down, makes it impossible for the pilot to control. Tragically, the plane crashed into Java Sea just 30 minutes after takeoff. All 189 passengers and crew died instantly. Less than 5 months later, on March 10, 2019, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, it is also same flight from Boeing, crashed under similar circumstances. Because of that, 157 people died. These back-to-back disasters exposed major flaws in Boeing's design and raised global concern about its safety practices. The aircraft 
737 Max was grounded worldwide for nearly 20 months, costing Boeing a billion dollars in loss, and it damaged the Boeing's reputation. But Boeing safety issues don't end there. Alaska Airlines 737 Max suffered a critical failure in mid-flight. A door panel blew up at 16,000 feet, leaving a hole aside of the aircraft. Fortunately, the plane has not reached the high altitude, preventing a greater catastrophe. The aircraft made an emergency landing, but the incident recreated the fear about Boeing's quality control. Boeing faced multiple lawsuits from victims' families, exposing a pattern of negligence. Instead of being sidelined, Boeing was handed other massive contracts. This time not for aeroplanes, but for space travel. NASA made historic decision. It awarded two private companies, Boeing and SpaceX, the responsibility of transporting astronauts to the International Space Station under the Commercial Crew Transportation Capability Program. The contract numbers were mind-blowing. Boeing received $4.2 billion for its Starliner spacecraft, while space SpaceX was awarded only with $2.6 billion for its Crew Dragon capsule, a company reeling from two deadly plane crashes, safety issues and engineering failures was now being trusted with the lives of NASA astronauts. But why? NASA says Boeing's decades-long experience in aerospace and its historical contribution to space missions, Boeing had been a key contractor for space shuttle program, the ISS and numerous other NASA projects. SpaceX, on the other hand, was seen as a new kid on the block. At the time, Elon Musk's company had achieved major milestones but has not yet flown astronauts to the space. But here is things get even more controversial. Despite receiving billions more than SpaceX, Boeing Starliner fell behind schedule, suffered with multiple test failures, and even failed a mission in 2019 where the spacecraft failed to reach International Space Station due to software glitch. Meanwhile, SpaceX Crew Dragon successfully flew NASA astronauts to the International Space Station in May 2020, being the first private spacecraft to carrying humans into Earth orbit. The real question is, was NASA's trust on Boeing justified? I say no, because two astronauts, Sunita William and Barry Wilmo, soon after reaching the International Space Station, Boeing Starliner spacecraft started having serious technical problems, makes it too dangerous to bring astronauts back to Earth. Earth. So NASA decided to send the Starliner back without anyone to check the problems and repairing them because NASA know what happened in 2003, how it killed Kalpana Chawla and her crew. Now, now NASA don't want to take risk of the two astronauts' lives so ordered them to stay on International Space Station for few more days. But days turned into weeks. They are not getting any response from NASA. In this time, they didn't waste the time. They continued their research. They conducted numerous experiments on International Space Station, on biology, physics, and material science, contributed valuable data to ongoing studies. They also upgraded and maintained the ISS system to ensure the continuous functionality and safety of the International Space Station. But they are facing serious health challenges. Astronauts experiencing muscular weakening and reduced bone density due to the lack of gravitational forces. Surviving in space is not just about staying healthy, it's also about managing basic human needs. In the completely different environment, on Earth, we take food, water, air for granted. But in space, everything has to be carefully managed. Astronauts relied on food, which is completely vacuum-sealed or freeze-dried. 
to last for months water is one of the most valuable resource in international space station and every drop is reused astronauts are drinking pure water that came from collected sweat breathed moisture and even urine nasa recycling system was so advanced that the water they drink is cleaner than most tap water on earth every part of daily life is challenging on space but with the help of technology and planning astronauts can survive for months while orbiting 400 kilometers above earth but sunita william and berry wilmore getting no response from earth to return trip back home berry william's 19 year old daughter shows her frustration on social media she was blaming boeing and nasa for her dad struck in space in march 2025 a spacex crew dragon spacecraft originally scheduled for routine mission but modified and launched with one key object bringing sunita williams and barry wilmore back to earth after 9 long months the astronauts finally boarded on spacex crew dragon they smoothly undocked the spacex dragon crew with the international space station and they made their re-entry to the earth the capsule landed on atlantic ocean with parachutes then two astronauts rescued from the ocean but the mission left with the deeper questions why did nasa choose boeing over spacex how did boeing's repeated failures go unchecked so what do you think did nasa made huge mistake by trusting boeing over spacex Please let me know in the comment section. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit on the bell icon. To see how China is trapping the world with their tech, see this video up there.